we change and progress so slowly, particularly in matters where we have allowed abuse, inflicted pain and suffering for so long. This is because fear-inducing, dividing methods are more profitable to governments and we are more easily controlled this way. So being an Armenian, it's sadly very easy for me to hate the Turkish government and even Turkish people. But today, on the Memorial Day of Armenian Genocide, I wish to celebrate the memory of a Turkish woman who saved my grandmother's life during the genocide and who's therefore partially responsible for my existence. During uh, my childhood, I heard stories that no child's ears should hear from my grandma, that same grandma that was saved, who saw her brother killed in front of her eyes as she was hiding in the bushes behind her house, behind her childhood home in uh, Khnuslu, which is uh, near Mushi, uh, now current day modern Turkey territory. She escaped, started running eastwards. On the road, she saw all sorts of terrible things like men from two, three villages being buried live underground, letting only their heads stick out. And then Turkish soldiers would whip camels and make them angry and then later let them run and trample over the heads of these live Armenian men while making their wives watch their husbands and young sons uh, be killed in this terrible manner. A Turkish woman finds them during their escape, uh, my grandmother Grapin and her mom, and she hides them in her cellar, feeds them bread and water for about seven days and then tells them the safest time for them to continue to escape eastwards, where they finally arrive in current day Armenia, where later, two generations later, I was born. Uh, morality has nothing to do with religion as many institutions would have you believe. I want to celebrate this woman's courage and morality, and I want to encourage the good people of Turkey in particular to finally be rid of this terrible weight on your conscience caused by the continuous denial of Armenian genocide, by the totalitarian Turkish government that doesn't even protect its own women's rights and journalists. Denial keeps us stagnant, particularly the ones who are denying it. And the only way to move forward and progress is to accept the facts of history. I encourage you to follow the liberating and human actions of your fellow Turkish citizen who saved my grandmother's life and therefore mine.